What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and today I'm incredibly excited to be bringing you guys another episode of why you should use the series I do with my good friend Sam when we go over why you guys should be using these Pokemon, a deep dive into their moves, stats, abilities, all of that good stuff and today is a good day, we're talking about Kaparaja, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, I love elephants, I'm so happy we got another one, but it's not the only Pokemon we're going to be talking about today, Sam, what are we going over on? on your channel. Over on my channel, we'll be going over another behemoth, which is Colossal, the big coal mountain thing. So he's really cool too. But right now we're looking at the Elephant Copperaja. This Pokemon is really, really cool. Love the elephants. And this one I think is the first like proper big elephant that we've got. So that's pretty nice. This thing is massive and it weighs a ton. It's so, so heavy. But what's really cool about this Pokemon, I think, is its stats. It's got really, really nice stat spread, which you can do a lot with. It's got a huge HP stat of 122 and an even huger attack stat of 130. So it hits so hard, but has a lot of bulk to go with that. Its defenses aren't amazing at 69 each, but with the massive HP, that's actually all you need to be able to tank hits and you can invest in them differently so you can have a defensive or specially defensive set whatever you want um, the special attack is even not awful at 80 probably not really going to be used because 130 attack is so great but it's very slow pokemon so maybe a trick room pokemon typing is pure steel this thing has a steel skin so it's a very good defensive typing you've got loads of resistances there so that's very nice and the abilities are great too sheer force which powers up all your moves with a secondary effect that's very powerful and especially with that massive attack stat looking very good and heavy metal which sometimes is interesting we'll see if it's interesting for this pokemon Looking at the attacking moves that Kaparaja learns, it gets even better as this thing has so much coverage. We can't even fit everything here. There's so many special moves it gets that aren't even worth throwing on here as it has really everything you could possibly need, not just for sheer force, but also for heavy metal. Obviously, you're going to have Iron Head. That is going to be a staple and that's going to be your good steel type for sheer force. Heavy Slam is going to go with heavy metal, but then you just have really good coverage. Earthquake's a fantastic move in general. Play Rough's a really great move. It also goes with sheer force. Superpower is another really powerful move. Rock Side is another great move, but also goes with Sheer Force or Stone Edge, a little bit, you know, more powerful. Maybe you have that on a heavy metal set. You know, there's a lot of different things. It really depends on the situation. I'm not going to go through everything. Something that really stands out is Heat Crash. This is a really cool move like Heavy Slam, where the more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. You saw how heavy this Pokemon was in the previous slide. Heavy Metal is going to make it even crazier. So heavy metal sets are going to be really, really solid on this Pokemon. And just in general, it's going to be an offensive monster. Now, looking at setup, there's nothing that's really too exciting here. Iron Defense could definitely, you know, bolster this thing into an unbeatable wall on the physical side, and it could pair up with Body Press if you really want to have that combination. I don't really think you need to. We don't have a Body Press Iron Defense set, but it is something to think about. You know, we've talked about it before. Uh, workup is actually really interesting. I think you could have some pretty cool sets uh, with Workup, as this Pokemon can actually be mixed. You know, Sheer Force is a really cool ability that will help both physical and special uh, moves. So that's something to keep an eye on. And Curse does work with this Pokemon very perfectly as it has minimal speed already. So lowering the speed and then raising attack and defense is great. And looking at utility, I really love seeing Stealth Rocks, but more importantly, Whirlwind. It makes a lot of sense this Pokemon gets Stealth Rocks. And when we get to the Gigantamax form, it's even cooler on that side of things. But a uh, Whirlwind is amazing. It's a fantastic move on any bulky Pokemon, especially a Pokemon that's already this slow. It's going to be going last almost every single time so getting you know pokemon out of there phasing things that will be really really nice and just adds to this incredible pokemon as I just mentioned, this Pokemon does get a Gigantamax form, and I really don't know how to feel about this Squidward-looking thing. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know why it looks this way. I still love it all the same, but more importantly, G-Max Steel Surge, a Steel-type attack that Gigantamax Copperja uses. This move scatters sharp spikes around the field, and while it says sharp spikes, looking into the move and looking as many places as possible, I think it's confirmed that this sets Steel type rocks that hurt the opponent upon switching so it's like stealth rocks it's steel type so like stealth rocks if you have those up and you switch in you're like a bug poke 
Pokemon, you're going to lose 25% of your health because, you know, Rock is super effective against Bug. So it's just that effect with a Steel Coating. So Fairies would take 25% and then, you know, everything else in the type combination, which is really, really cool. Now, it's not as broken as you might think, because if you, you know, Dynamax or Gigantamax wants to get these going and then, you know, your opponent defogs or rapid spins, it's not like you can Gigantamax again and reset these up. But if you time this well, it can really change the tide of battle. It's a really, really cool thing because obviously you're going to want to have Steel type moves on this Pokemon in every single set. It's just kind of an added bonus and something really cool to look into. Moving on to the sets we want to talk about, and the first one we're looking at is a Life Orb set because uh, the Life Orb item has great synergy with the Sheer Force ability. Life Orb boosts the power of your moves, but means that you lose some HP when you use your moves. Um, but when you have the Sheer Force ability and you go for a move with a secondary effect, obviously Sheer Force will come into effect to boost the move's power. Life Orb will also boost the move's power, but you won't lose any of your health from the Life Orb. So it's a, just a really great synergy that you have there. You're getting amazing damage boosts, but without losing any of your health. For this set, we have a weird EV spread, but it is very important. So we've got max attack and we've got a lot of HP but some of our EVs are going into our speed stat and that is because Copperaja has 30 base speed and that's a very competitive speed tier though it's very slow and it seems weird to invest speed on such a Pokemon you want to be out speeding things like Toxapex before it can scold burn you and obviously other Copperages for example and also Colossal has the base 30 speed tier so there are lots of things that if you just invest a little bit in speed you'll be able to outspeed tons more Pokemon so that's quite important. And then we've got the Adamant Nature just so we're doing as much damage as possible. Iron Head is going to be the move that you're probably going to spam the most. It's Stab, it has a Sheer Force boost, it has a Life Orb boost and it will do so much damage coming off that 130 attack stat. Other moves we have for coverage, we've got Earthquake there, just a very good coverage move for Steel types because it hits the ste other Steel types and the Electric types that you would otherwise be resisted by. And then Rock Slide, another nice move to benefit from Sheer Force. Ground Rock coverage is generally good coverage. And Play Rough is a good one as well. It does have a secondary effect, so again, boosted by Sheer Force. It can hit the Fighting types that might want to switch in to threaten Copperaja out, because obviously Fighting types are super effective against Copperaja. But if you hit them with a Play Rough first, they are going to go down. They're going to go down hard. Looking into a set with the other ability, Heavy Metal, we have a Choice Band set, and I really love that this Pokemon can use either of these abilities with really the same amount of success. Both of them are gonna be really, really nice. Uh, but same EVs here, Adamant Nature, and this time Heavy Slam, Heat Crash, Stone Edge, and Power Whip. So we have a lot of really powerful moves. Stone Edge and Power Whip do have the chance to miss, so you can't replace, you know, Stone Edge with Rock Slide if you just want to minimize the amount of missing, but without that Sheer Force boost, Stone Edge is definitely the better option there. Power Whip is a really fantastic offensive move. You're going to be able to decimate Water Pokemon on the Switch in. I've lost a few games, you know, going for Power Whip and missing, so it's just one of those things you do have to worry about, but just the combination of Heavy Slam and Heat Crash with Heavy Metal is insane. A crazy attacks that choice band. Uh, I really do love it because I don't think a lot of people are going to worry too much about Copper Jaw. You know, they'll be able to switch in a Steel type. Okay, I can take most of its hits. That'll be fine. Maybe a Ferrothorn comes in. Oh, it'll take Iron Barb's jam damage because of all of its physical moves. All of a sudden, Heat Crash comes in from a Heavy Metal set and that thing is obliterated. It's really, really cool. I absolutely love that addition to this Steel Pokemon. Uh, and I, I just, both these sets are great. Something we haven't talked about yet is Copperage's amazing bulk when it has to have it. And also the fact that it gets Stealth Rock, which is a very, very good move to support your team, get chip damage on the opponent, so your sweepers can then have an easier time. So this set is going to be a really bulky set. We've given it the leftovers so that it can heal health over time and also the Sheer Force ability because Iron Head is generally a good move to spam here. So the EVs, we've gone on this set for a defensive spread, but you can always change up the EVs here. You can make it specially defensive instead dead or if you want to you can just have a bulky rock setter that can actually hit hard as well so you can put the EVs, EVs into attack but really we're trying to show that this thing can be very defensive because of that great steel typing impish nature and we've got stealth rock there iron head which still gets a sheer force boost and has that big base attack stat to base your damage off so it's still going to hit really hard 
Earthquake is generally the best coverage just with a steel type move. And the last move here is Whirlwind because you can blow your opponent around, get them to take more stealth rock damage. If you expect a bad mag matchup, you can Whirlwind that away. This also works really well with Copperage's Gigantamax form. So if you G Max, do go for the um, Iron Head, that will obviously turn into its G Max move and set up the Steel Stealth Rock. So you actually have kind of have dual hazards with this set, and that's great. You can whirlwind around once you, your uh, Gigantamax form has worn off, and they're going to be taking so much extra damage. Another possibility with Copper Jaw is an Assault Vest set. Uh, this could really be heavy metal or sheer force. It could be, you know, physically offensive. It could be especially offensive. That just depends on what you want to do. This is just an option. Uh, but we actually have max investment in special defense and then max in attack rather than HP. This is to really ensure this thing will be tanking special hits. Obviously, it has that crazy, you know, HP stat, which does cover the kind of lower defense and special defense it has. So just, you know, maxing out in special defense to go along with Assault Vest will ensure this thing will be able to take many hits. You can switch in on a a bunch of special attackers and then obliterate them back with whatever coverage you have here this is just the same as our choice band set again it just depends on what you want to run there's so many moves so many options with this pokemon which is so amazing i mean with a lot of these sets you can really go crazy with whatever you want just depending on the team composition you have around this pokemon the format you're playing whether it's you know 6v6 singles 3v3 singles doubles all of that i really love it there's a you know a lot of malleability with this pokemon and this is just another option the last set we have for you is a little bit different. So this is actually a setup Copperaja and it's gonna have the leftovers again because we are gonna make it really bulky and the sheer force ability because your only attacking move is Iron Head. So you definitely want the sheer force to make that hit as hard as possible. This is gonna be a specially defensive set, max special defense with the careful nature. As I said, Iron Head is your only attack and then you've got Curse. This boosts your attack and your defense so it shores up your defense which we haven't invested in but also the attack so you're going to be doing tons of damage even just after one curse and the last moves there are rest and sleep talk rest is the only recovery this thing gets so when you're getting low from your opponent's attacks rest up and sleep talk to get more curses or iron heads basically it's really specially defensive but becomes insanely hard to take down after those defense boosts from curse while you're just dealing so much damage with sheer force iron heads boosted by curse. Looking into doubles, Copper Jaw isn't really going to do anything crazy or groundbreaking, but it does have some, you know, more specialized moves like Bulldoze is going to be really solid here as you are going to be able to slow down your opponents. Obviously, you probably want to pair Copper Jaw with something that is not going to get hit with Bulldoze. There's a flying Pokemon or a Levitate Pokemon. A Rock Slide, that's a move that in theory you could use to flinch, so you probably don't want to have Sheer Force, but you're also going to be so slow it doesn't matter. But if you're in Trick Room, then Rock Slide can get flinches, so just be careful with the ability as Sheer Force is going to get rid of Bulldoze's secondary effect, Rock Slide's secondary effect, and that's just a big thing to keep in mind with this Pokemon, just especially in any of the formats, but especially in doubles. Uh, Snarl is going to be pretty solid in, you know, doubles, just to uh, really harass your opponent's Pokemon. Taunt can be good. Again, it's a little bit slower. If you are in Trick Room, that's going to help. So, I mean, Trick Room is very good with this Pokemon. It's the biggest thing, in my opinion, for doubles with Copper Jaw, uh, pairing up with that. Uh, and then Swagger, uh, another annoying move, but you will be able to tank a lot of hits, so you should be able to get Swaggers off on your opponents after taking a hit and then really crippling, you know, uh, especially offensive Pokemon or even just offensive Pokemon hoping that they hit themselves in confusion. Or maybe if you're, your other Pokemon went for Thunder Wave, just getting that combo going. Again, the best ability is probably just going to be Heavy Metal. There's so much you can do with Sheer Force and Heavy Metal, you know, in Trick Room, especially if you want to sweep with a Sheer Force one, that's great. Just know, you know, what secondary effects you're going to lose as that's important. And once again, I'll talk about it. Trick Room, very great for this Pokemon. It's really, really powerful, incredible coverage, really good moves for doubles, singles, anything you can want. And the fact that you can just have the Pokemon next to it set up a Trick Room and it can really take advantage of every single turn is amazing. Dragon Pokemon are also going to be a really solid pairing as you're going to be able to get rid of the fairies that harass Dragon Pokemon and that'll be really nice. And the last thing is that it pairs really well with Grass Pokemon. It's a little bit more specialized, but we do know that Rotom Wash and Ferrothorn are going to be very, very, you know, prominent threats in the doubles metagame. Rotom Wash is going to be very annoying for Copper Jaw. Grass Pokemon can really deal with that. And then Copper Jaw can actually sneakily take out Ferrothorns because of Heavy Metal and Heat Crash, which is really, really nice for Grass Pokemon. So that is just something to keep your 
eye on. But that's going to be the end of this video, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and Sam's channel as we have a bunch more of these Why You Should Use videos coming your way, including one more that's uploaded right now. It's on the screen. Click on that video. We are talking about why you guys should be using Colossal, a very cool and very big new Pokemon. Go over, check that out. Click the video right now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.